everybody, it's Tom. <clears throat> this is um, my VLCD day six, November 24th, 2009. As you'll recall, yesterday I was only down half a pound from the day before after losing um, lots of weight the first two days. Um, here we are today. I came in at 314 and a half, so that's two pounds less than yesterday. So I'm I'm now with the average for men of two pounds a day. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, I assume the first two days or so was mostly water weight anyway. Um, but this is good. Um, I have a pretty good average. I'm sure a lot of you ladies would kill for my average so far. So I'm, uh, I'm definitely grateful for it. Um, it's nothing to sneeze at. <clears throat> now... Let's see. I just I just did my uh, my dose of sublingual. For some reason this morning, uh, my uh, salivary glands were on overdrive, and I could all but keep it under my tongue for 15 minutes before having to swallow it. Um, I hope that you know when when you uh, produce a lot of saliva that it doesn't doesn't affect it negatively. But so far, so far, so good, I guess. Um, so, I don't really know if there's any much to say here. Um, I weighed myself. Um, I, I put up a video for, um, instead of veal, this time I used chicken um, and, uh, and cabbage. The Savoy cabbage. I really like the Savoy cabbage better than regular cabbage. It's a little bit sweeter. It's just, I think it's a higher quality cabbage. I'm not sure. I think it might even be nutritionally better than the regular, but uh, don't quote me on that. Um, and I, you know, I did it the same way, spicy and everything. That's what I like. Um, like I said in the video, eventually I'll get sick of that and try something else. Um, but for now, I'll go with what I like. Um, I threw a habanero pepper in there. Those things are nice and hot. You don't have to do that. Probably a lot of people wouldn't, but I'm a spicy food guy. I grow my own hot peppers. I didn't grow that particular one, but uh, I participated in some hot pepper forums on the internet. Um, we had a particularly cold, wet summer here in New Jersey, so it wasn't conducive to growing, you know, really good peppers. And I was using pots on a on a back deck and. Uh, uh, none of my super hot varieties succeeded this year. I'm talking peppers that are like five times hotter than a habanero, um, Indian, Asian peppers. I don't even know when I'm going to be able to do them next because I'm going through a divorce right now and I'm probably going to have to move out of here at some point. So I don't know what's going to go on with, with my pepper growing interest. Let's just put the seeds away for a while. Anyway, um... But uh, the hunger, not so bad yesterday. Um, as I may probably said somewhere else, I'm trying to distinguish between hunger, hunger pangs, and empty feeling. Right? Usually, I could never distinguish between the two. If you're feeling empty, that means you're hungry. But there is a difference between just not having food in you versus being actively hungry, hunger pangs. And I I did find that when I was on the verge of hunger pangs or hunger pangs were starting, that I, um, I had some water and that, that took care of it. So I'm sure the HCG must be having an effect here because, <clears throat> you know, overall I feel fine. I'm sure that on a 500 or whatever it is, it could be 600 the way I'm doing it. I don't know. Calorie diet would leave me in a world of hurt if it wasn't for the HCG. Sometimes I feel slight headache coming on, um, but that usually goes away. Actually, there was one little instance yesterday where I felt a little bit dizzy. It wasn't really bad, but I felt almost like my head started spinning a little bit. And that might have just have been a blood sugar thing. It was uh, towards around 5 o'clock, 5-ish in the afternoon. Um, I've been drinking uh, decaf espresso, some decaf coffee. <clears throat> I prefer decaf espresso because I like the strong flavor, and I put stevia in it. I usually put sweetener in that. Um, 
<clears throat> when I'm not on this sort of a diet, I enjoy my regular coffee, which is decaf for me. Um, I enjoy it with cream in it. I can't do that now. And I just, coffee is so thin. I just don't enjoy it black. I'm trying. I actually put some stevia in my black coffee to try to enjoy it more. Um, it helped a little bit, but I, I really prefer it without sweetener and with some sort of uh, light cream or half and half in it, but I, mean, I can't do that now. Um, I do have teas. I have oolong. Uh, I have uh, I have a green tea that I'm not sure if I should have. It's it's my favorite kind of green tea. It's a Japanese sencha tea, but it's it's called a Genmai Cha, which is... Uh, it's got toasted rice in it. It's the kind of tea that a lot of times you you have when you're having sushi at a Japanese restaurant. It, it has like a toasty flavor. It's delicious, but it's got that toasted rice in it. And even though you're not eating the rice, I don't know if it's releasing carbs or sugars into it that you shouldn't have. So I've been staying away from it for now. Um, 